Hey traders, welcome to a new video. So today it's going to be a very quick video because I wanted to share with you uh, an indicator that I have customized that I use always in my trading. I've actually this I put a question in the Sierra Charge forum and one of the members was kind enough to help me with uh, as far as the uh, coding of this indicator. And so, you know, it's pretty simple if you're familiar with Sierra Charts um, programming. And uh, so thank him for that. And so I wanted to just, you know, give something back to all my followers. And I thought I would share this with you. It's very simple. What we're going to do is an indicator that basically places a colored highlight on the candles of Monday of every um, of each week you know for me this is very useful because it's going to help me very easily see where every week begins so if you haven't done so yet please make sure to subscribe hit the thumbs up uh, share these videos just to get them out to a bigger audience so let's just go and see what the indicator is it's basically just one study uh, as you can see this is an e-mini es daily chart and you can apply this to any chart. I don't really apply it to the daily, but um, just to show you how it looks like, I actually already have it saved. So I go to analysis, Monday highlight, clear existing studies, no. And so basically this is the indicator. As you can see, this is the color I chose. You can change it to whatever color you want, but what you get is a color background on top of every candle in this case of monday so that way you know if you are looking at a chart it's very easy to tell where every week starts again this can be done for any market i specifically focus just on the mini s p 500 and futures so i always have it on monday well it actually starts on sunday night from sunday night 6 p.m eastern to monday at 5 p.m. Eastern the next day when we close. So this is what it looks like on the um, on the um, daily chart. But more specifically, I'm just gonna take it off because I don't really use it on the daily. I use it on the one hour chart. So this is my one hour chart. As you can see, I always, if I go to my studies on this chart, this is a very bare bones chart. This is not the actual chart book that I use. I just have this as a chart book for my YouTube videos just to show all my tutorials and tips. So I try to keep this chart as clean as possible. So all I have is the, um, I just have the countdown timer to just, uh, which is right here on the top corner where it just shows me a countdown clock until the next hourly candle uh, begins, which is this one right here, we have it there. Then I have the current price line, which is this line, just wherever price is. Market is closed right now, so it's not moving. Then we have the timeline, and it's this vertical bars that I use, where basically it's just set to show me a new line every day at 6 p.m. Eastern time when a new trading day starts in the futures market. And then this is the indicator that I'm going to show to you. And I'm going to put in the comments on the video. I'm just going to copy paste uh, what you need to use. Basically, the study you're going to use is on this list here. It's going to be called color background based on alert condition. So once you put that in here, I'm not going to add it again because I already have it here. You go to settings, settings and inputs here. I like to always assign specific names to my study. So I just call it Monday highlight chart region number one um, display underneath main graphs just so it's behind the candles and it doesn't blur them. Then number of bars to calculate whatever i just have it set at 2000 use vertical line 
in this you put no just so it uses the whole background and then under subgraphs uh, here draw style make sure that you have background chosen over here uh, and again I like to just take off all the display values and stuff that would go on over here just to keep it clean and then for the color choose whatever you want I like to use a very light shade of blue so that's the, what I have applied and then this is the main thing under alerts this is the code that you are gonna copy and again I'm gonna copy and paste this in the comment in the video so you can just copy paste it and then put it into your uh, study but it's basically and again I got help from this in the forums on the Sierra chart website but it's basically telling you that at 6 p.m. Eastern time on the weekday that's gonna be your point number one so that is the beginning of the shading is at 6 p.m. Eastern and then the point two the end of the shading is going to be at 5 p.m eastern time when the trading day officially ends and then we have the one hour pause every day in the futures market between trading days so basically that's it it's very simple you just copy paste this under the color background based on alert condition put whatever color you want make sure draw style is set as background and then you can put a short name for it um, chart region one and that's pretty much it just copy these settings and it's gonna look like this and then that way like if I zoom out for example you know it's very easy for me to identify and know where each trading week starts and you just you know you know where every Monday begins etc so for me this is something that I use a lot I use this in Sierra chart and I also have this same indicator in trading view which is available in the community's indicators but uh, so yeah just wanted to share this all with you uh, as a little thank you for following me etc and I'm just gonna add it into my uh, Sierra chart tips and tutorials and I hope this helps everyone and yeah that's it so I'm, I'll leave it here make sure to go to my website to check more info on all my content and courses follow me on Twitter and here on YouTube so you don't miss out on any more um, of my trading content okay see you all in the next video take care